Donald Trump notching another win overnight in Nevada, winning support from the majority of the state's Republican caucus goers, according to an NBC News projection, appearing likely on the road to a legal victory as well. Our Supreme Court hopefully will be doing something in terms of helping our country and preserving democracy. And I think they had a very, very interesting day and a very beautiful day. A divided Supreme Court coalescing in their skepticism over an issue that could upend the presidential race, appearing unwilling to condone the effort to kick Mr. Trump off the presidential ballot. The question that you have to confront is why a single state should decide who gets to be president of the United States. I mean, that seems quite extraordinary, doesn't it? Pointed questions like that one for the lawyer representing six voters in Colorado, who successfully managed to get the Republican frontrunner disqualified from the state's primary ballot under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, which bans those who engaged in insurrection or rebellion from holding public office again. I've lived a hell of a long time, and I've gone through a lot of presidents, and this is the first one that is trying to destroy the Constitution. But Thursday's oral arguments less focused on whether Mr. Trump's actions amounted to an insurrection. Instead, the justices appearing more troubled by the prospect of affirming a single state court's decision that could have massive political ramifications nationwide. What about the idea that um, we should think about democracy, think about the right of the people to elect uh, candidates of their choice, of letting the people decide, because your position has the effect of disenfranchising uh, voters to a significant degree. Well, Laura, I mean, the road is littered with people who've guessed from oral arguments what the Supreme Court will do. Listen, we've all been there. But in this case, you have to say, I mean, it was overwhelmingly apparent that the court appears that it will keep Trump on the ballot. Uh, Undoubtedly. We don't know why. We'll see what the reasoning ends up being. When do you expect this decision to come? So the voters in Colorado have actually asked for them to rule this weekend. I think that's probably a stretch, but I do think we will see it well before Super Tuesday because the justices know the political calendar just as we all do. March 5th, voters in Colorado and more than a dozen states are set to go to the polls. So I think they want to make sure this issue is cleared up before those primary ballots are done. And because of all the other primaries that are coming right behind it, they want to get this done fast. I'll see we'll see you in the next couple weeks. All right. Laura Jarrett, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.